G'day, my name's Raf Agostino, and I just want to draw your attention to two major events that we've got coming up. Arguably the most exciting, we've got two track and field events coming up. So we've got the primary state track and field and the secondary state track and field. We've got a bit of information that we want you to be aware of. If this is the first time coming or you just need a refresher, we just want to let you know about some important information. An exciting announcement that we want to tell you about the state track and field events coming up both for secondary and primary is that we're live streaming the events. We're taking live streaming to another level. We're going to have a mobile camera and we're going to have some commentary. So please jump on the link that's on your screen right now and make sure that you connect to all our platforms so that you can be notified when our live stream starts. Now when it comes to attending the event, there's plenty of parking out here, but we want to make sure that you get here in really good time. This is the entry gate where you'll be paying for any entry fees that need to be paid. Those entry fees are set by the stadium themselves, not by School Sport Victoria, and all the proceeds go to Lakeside Stadium. For any athletes that are competing at the state event for primary, we have a call room in action. This call room is in action and you must be in the call room 30 minutes prior to your event. So make sure you get here in time, mum and dad, to park, to pay the entry fee and to be inside. If you're a secondary student competing at the secondary state track and field, there's no call room in action, but you need to make sure you be at your event ready to run or ready to jump or ready to throw 30 minutes prior to the event. Now we're outside of the warm-up track. This track is available to any athletes that want to warm up. We strongly encourage you to warm up. We strongly encourage you to be out here in time, all warmed up, ready to be at your event or the call room, whatever applies, 30 minutes prior. We strongly encourage you to be at the warm-up track at least an hour before your event, so you've got about 30 minutes to warm up. 30 to 40 minutes is a great time to warm up. Now, if you've been out and about anywhere in the community, you probably would have seen some of the state track and field merchandise, the hoodies, the hats, the socks. You can buy your merchandise at the venue, right where I'm standing here. Our supply will be here, but you can also buy it online with the link that's on your screen right now. We would recommend you purchase it online so you don't miss out, and then you can have it before the state event and look the part when you turn up. Now, if you're a primary student who's competing at the state track and field for primary schools, then you may be eligible to be selected in our Team Vic team. All you need to do is after your race, or after your event, is to come up, if you've been given a slip of paper, is to come up into the Team Vic room and just get some information. There'll be three or four people there waiting to answer all your questions. The Team Vic room is actually located in the presence room, which is just to my right here. You walk up the stairs, walk in this back room and go straight into the President's room and speak to either Noreen, Kevin or Aiden and they'll be very happy to answer your questions. Now, if you're a secondary student competing at State Track and Field, there's no pathway that continues on with SSV. There's no national comp, but we would strongly encourage you to connect with Athletics Victoria All Schools Competition. If you jump on the link that's on your screen right now, you'll actually be able to find out all the events that are coming up for the All Schools Track and Field. And we cannot recommend it highly enough for you to get involved in the All Schools competition. It's a fantastic competition and Athletics Victoria are a great organisation.